to another episode of Digging Deeper, where we help you lock eyes with Jesus and take a step towards Him. Today's episode is entitled, Jesus's Threefold Ministry. And our scripture today is Matthew chapter 9, verses 35. God's Word says this, Jesus continued going to all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and every sickness. This week, we continued in our Game Changer series where where Mike investigated how we are going to make a difference in our community and in the world for Christ. And so in our scripture reading for today, Matthew 9, 35, we see um, the summary of Jesus's threefold ministry that Jesus has been going into all the towns and all the villages in this region, and he's doing three primary things. So you can kind of always follow the verbs here. We see that he is teaching in their synagogues, that he is preaching the good news of the kingdom, and that he is healing every disease and sickness. Now, it's interesting that this threefold ministry, these three things are not just, this isn't just happening in Matthew chapter 9, but it's also repeated almost verbatim in Matthew chapter 4, verse 23. It says, now Jesus began to go all over Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every sickness and disease from among the people. So this is clearly a part of the pattern of Jesus's ministry, and specifically the book of Matthew, which is one of the four gospels about the life and ministry of Jesus, uniquely focuses on Jesus as the Jewish Messiah. This is important because Matthew is sure to emphasize that the king of the Jews, the one who was promised to the Jews, would thus do ministry among the Jews. And this is the reason why Jesus specifically went to the synagogues. This is the place of Jewish worship gatherings, and he did this to teach from the Old Testament, and most likely to teach about himself from the Old Testament. And further, Jesus isn't only teaching in the synagogues, but he is proclaiming, he is preaching the good news of the kingdom. Good news, or what we could literally say gospel of the kingdom, is the message that God would fulfill his promises and establish his kingdom on earth, that he would be our God and we would be his people. And it's Jesus's presence on earth, him embodying um, life on earth is what inaugurated God's kingdom. It's the, it's the first lap, it's the first step to God establishing his permanent kingdom here on earth. But Jesus doesn't only teach, he doesn't only preach, but he also acts. That in verse 35, it tells us that he healed every sickness and every disease. And what's important for us to grab here is that the works of Jesus are just as important and just as instructive to us as the words of Jesus. That this healing action was first an act of compassion on the crowds, but it was also an act of authentication. Well, what I mean by that is that the, 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 the divine healing served as evidence that Jesus was in fact the Messiah who had come to bring the kingdom of God to the world that it's authenticating, it's his credibility, it's his relational equity to say, hey, I am the Messiah, I am healing on behalf of God. And as followers of Jesus, as we follow in the dust of Jesus, and as we are with Jesus and we want to become like Jesus in order to do what Jesus did, therefore, we are compelled to teach the word of God accurately and faithfully for the purpose of Christlikeness. And, and because we are following after Jesus, we are compelled to preach and proclaim the good news of the kingdom, especially to those who have never heard it or to those who have not entered it. And therefore, we are also compelled to act with compassion. Now, while we do not have the capacity to heal every disease and sickness like Christ Jesus, we are still called to live our lives within such a way that with so much compassion that it authenticates our faith, that it gives credibility to our faith. So may we get in the game today as we follow in the way of Jesus, of teaching, of preaching, and acting. Let's pray together. Our Father, we thank you for your word. Pray that by the power of your spirit, this passage from the book of Matthew would change us into the likeness of Christ. 
Father, we just praise you today for the ministry of Jesus, that as he taught and he He preached and he acted, God, that he changed everything. I pray today that we, um, Lord, we would not just be hearers of the word, but we would be doers of the word. Would you allow for us to get in the game, God, where you would see fit? We pray this through the Son and by the Spirit. Amen. Amen.